Um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um, part, really, I think, one, actually, of uh, talking about shadow and disassociation and self-mutilation, because who doesn't want to talk about this stuff? I always want to talk about that stuff. Um, and I think yesterday making a video was really just an introduction and to um, what I was going to, you know, try to continue to do and really start. So it has to kind of be broken down in um, some kind of way. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I know that disassociation is really on my mind right now um, because I think it's, you know, wow. Uh, for a very long time um, growing up, I just have to tell my story, I guess. I didn't know that I was doing this, um, that, that this was something I was doing. And I only came to know that uh, through some very severe experiences with it where I um, actually felt like I was outside of my body and I couldn't get back in it. Um, that makes you think a lot about what we are because I was still a alive um, and I really truly was out of my body. And it was extremely traumatic when that was happening. Uh, and it took very many years and well into my adulthood to, to realize that I was actually doing that on a more subtle level um, all throughout my life. Um, and I realized that by going into meditation and, and, and having memories surface. And the memory was of situations that were uh, difficult for me, uh, and I would remember it from being above it, not where my body was actually standing in the room, like I could see myself. So my, my recollection of certain uh, events, I, my actual, you know, recall, my total recall of it is, is from above it, watching it, um, watching myself, watching it all happen. And, you know, I started to learn just how pervasive this was with me. Um, and there's many reasons for why that is, but that doesn't necessarily matter because the reason that I really want to discuss this is that I think we are all actually in this situation on that subtle level that I'm trying to, I guess, pierce now. The part that we don't know that we're doing that. We don't know that we're not in our bodies. We are rejecting our bodies. Um, and that's where shadow comes up because it's not, it isn't often, I don't think, that people feel safe enough to actually go into themselves, uh, into a place of meditation and um, openness with everything that they are, to have an opportunity to experience um, wow, to just experience the fact that they may not know how to be here also. Uh, we haven't known that for a long time. This is why things are happening to the earth. The earth is us, so um, we don't know how to take care of it. And we don't know how to take care of ourselves. And we have to learn how to take care of ourselves before we can possibly learn how to take care of the world uh, that we're living in and the planet that we're standing on. Um, and that doesn't mean the status quo taking care of. That doesn't mean um, neat and tidy. It means forest fires. It means uh, regeneration, and um, it's, it's a profound <laughs> process of having to accept the fact that we are 
what women are. The womb literally like creates a space every month uh, for something to be birthed in. And then most of those months, it has to disintegrate. Like it has to completely kill off all of that preparation, all of that um, preparedness for life. And it's natural. Like, it's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen that we, uh, we grow and then um, we bleed and we recreate over and over again. And I think for me, disassociation has been a lot about being born into the world, you know, at a time, and maybe there's some past life stuff going on, but really at a time where um, people were so split, are so split from the organic processes of life and the natural way of communicating with each other. And it was always very frightening for me. Uh, my body felt like my weakness. And that has been manifested in just a, just a string of ways. Um, if you don't know how to if you don't know how to be here, all, like all completely inside of yourself, you're going to go through some things and that's really important because none of us know how to do that right now. And going through some things is like magic and it's critical and it's vital and we need to go through some things. And it is like bloody. And there is a battle with flesh. We are taught that flesh is the original sin, basically. Um, this totally like, look, erotic. I mean, just that it's pink and, or it's brown. My leg brown <laughs> a lot. I mean, it's just so sultry, skin is, and it's so tempting. And we have these body parts that are just really evocative and provocative, and they're supposed to be like that. And if you come into the world, which literally everybody that is on the planet right now has come into the world under uh, this dark cloud of that this gorgeousness of our bodies is the root of all evil and that temptation that naturally will spring from it is the devil. I mean, this is ridiculous. You understand? Like, this is so painful. And you have a lot of men blowing up stuff and buildings and people and children because of this. And you have a lot of women hiding in the bathroom, cutting their skin to bleed, to try to uh, cope with how to embrace themselves, how to know they're here. There's so much pain in this. Um, or women like me who are poking themselves with needles and like <laughs> in so many ways. Um, or just trying to peel, literally peel my flesh off of my face because it's so imperfect. It feels like such a curse. Um, I love this, you know, because it's actually what has to happen right now. It's such a judgment on that things are wrong. Well, but things are wrong. So it's not right right now, the world and where we are with each other. It is wrong. It's and not that I'm not a fan of wrong, but not this kind of wrong. There is a tremendous um, rejection of life, throwing everything off balance and 
so it's quite right that you're going to see uh, people blowing up things and schools and horrifying things like this. These aren't okay things, but it's showing you what's happening and that you're going to, um, if women can talk about it, you know, see lots of women hurting themselves, cutting themselves. Um, men too, but I mean, I just happen to know that this is um, very pervasive among women, this way of handling uh, pain and rejection of their bodies. A very inward kind of way of doing it. And, um, and we don't get to try to just like fix it. It doesn't work like that. We have to understand that it's a gateway. It's an absolute gateway to a profound alchemical process of healing. And there's nothing to be ashamed about in uh, self-mutilation. I think it's really important to start to look back, like I was trying to say yesterday in this video, at what cultures have done for ages with making it ritualistic, making there be a purpose celebrating it. Um, because we do have to work with the body and we do have to figure out how to be here. And um, so instead of attacking ourselves m or when attacking ourselves, maybe we start to think about or or when we want to attack other people or hurt what's out there because it hurts so bad to be in ourselves because that's what I mean by these horrible mass shootings and things. Maybe we start to look at it like, why do I want to do this? Why do I want to hurt myself right now? Why do I need to bleed right now? Or why do I want to make other people bleed right now? I think that one question changes everything. And then I think you change something that seems so ugly, so vile, that just makes us hate ourselves more because we're so gross and or we're so hell-bent on making other people gross. You suddenly open a door to that none of this is gross. It's important. And it's the way into something really, truly healing and restorative um, and regenerating, which is what I know the earth so much wants to get back to, regenerating itself. We need to do that because we are part of it. Um, this is really feeling very, and I feel so strange about this right now. And I, but I'm not disassociating, I'm here, I'm in it. That's why I feel strange. It's um, hard to talk about. Uh, not because I'm shy about talking about it, but because it, it really actually is hard for me to learn how to talk about. And to say that this is, if I could just please, like, I would love to still communicate this message of, um, of that we really are all very disconnected from the right to be in our own bodies with grace and acceptance. And no, we have to find a way back in. So there's some to be continued on this subject because God damn it. I hope I get better at this. <laughs> okay. Anyways, happy Sunday.